Hello and welcome to another I Explores. Okay, so today we're on Hamilton Street. We're gonna have a look at some of the abandoned buildings down it as well. We'll just come up to one now, and the one in front of me is a, an old lemonade factory, or pop factory, we're gonna have a look at shortly, and I'll explain some history on it. Okay, so as you can see, there's some abandoned buildings on that side of the road there. Well, that, that one up there has been burnt. Burnt out, but yeah, these are some. I don't know what these was or are. I can't seem to find out a lot, but this one particular, because of what it's got inside, white tiles, looks like it could be sort of some sort of factory, which I will try and find out. As you can see, there's ice at the top there, where them crows are up there, and it's been burnt out. So I'm going to uh, take some uh, film on my uh, camera, on my phone, and then I'll overlay it with this, so you can actually see inside, hopefully. Okay, so where we are, in front of us there, as you can see, they have started taking it apart. So this is, this factory was burnt out. There used to be a booming pop empire as well as ginger beer and other things, which I shall read to you in a moment. Uh, I think I've got a picture of it still intact somewhere, if I can find it and I will put it on the channel. Anyway, the story of this Mansell Street factory starts in 1876 when William Hill married into the Hall family. They also had a factory down King Edward Street as well, which is 30, 42, sorry, feet long. Now, William Hill Limited Pop Factory on Hamilton Street, they carried on for over two years with an handful of workers, brewing such things as, I don't know if I have to drink this, air beer, hot bitter ale, and a popular ginger beer, which I mentioned before. And this building was designed in 1886 as well, a grand new factory back then. Now, obviously, it's come to demise, as you can see, it's all been burnt down and they're obviously refurbishing it for something, don't know what. So uh, let's, just, uh, let's just carry on. Okay, so when uh, Mr. Hill died in the 1960s, after three, after a build-up of three generations, using, you know, operating the factory, it finally closed in 1967. But obviously it's been stood there since then. So that's a lot, over 50 years. So I'm gonna go around here and see if I can put the camera in so you can see around the back. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now around the back. There's the famous tower up there, and it has been totally demolished inside. I say, I don't know what they're going to do on here, but it's still an abandoned building in any case, and I'm going to do a few more shortly. So this is the first one on the list, but yeah, when they're going to knock this rest of it down, I don't know. So let's carry on and uh, look at some more buildings. It was built in 1888. It's still standing there, but obviously is abandoned. Okay, so I've come round the back of these buildings now, they're abandoned ones. I will overlay this with really close-up shots in a bit. Now this here, where all this growth is now, there used to be a bakery, and it used to be on the corner right in front of me there. So uh, that was obviously, no, it's, it's, no, it's gone, it's long gone, sorry. Tongue-tied then. It's, um, where the bakery was, through this fence and on here where Obviously, there's nothing now. And as I was saying, the only bit I know that's left of it, I think, is where this, there's a yard down there, which I'll go and walk up in a moment when I turn this corner. This is Oak Street. Now, this is a very famous street, which I'm going to do a video on shortly. So see where the white walls are there? I think that was part of it, the bakery. Hey, upon the arrival of the railways in 1848, the docks started to expand. And uh, obviously the Royal Docks was started, got built in 1852. And uh, we used to import ice from Norway, but previous to the ice factory being built. And that, was, and that began in 1900, when we started to produce ice in the ice factory. It actually closed in, the, uh, in 1990. Um, it's on the Victorian Society Top 10 Endangered Buildings list in 2010. So obviously that's good, that'll help it a lot, but it just needs a lot of work. I mean, it's been there a long time. And uh, it has got some funding in 2014. Okay, so this building was abandoned for a bit, but it's obviously, I think it's been made into flats. This is the old Salvation Army barracks, built in 1888. 
but it's still standing and it was abandoned up to not long ago but it looks like they've converted it into flats of some kind which is really great that they've kept it it's really good this is on Duncombe Street okay so we'll come to another abandoned building which is getting use again now through a see up there rock foundation but this is a school so let's carry on so just down here there's a part of it that's probably something to do with the school I don't know the headmistress or something like that is the tower that's still there that's obviously part of this school very old there's a plaque around the corner which I'll find out all the dates from shortly so let's go and have a look okay so there's the plaque with the dates on it we've got 1876 18 for May 1876 actually the Great Grimsby School Board. Now let's have a walk along here. As you say, just go past this tree. There's always a tree, and so you can see the sign at the top there. The Great Grimsby Public Elementary School Board. And I'll take some pictures of this, and I'll put them on on the video. But yeah, this is this looks like the main entrance to it. Now they used to have girls and boys entrances, obviously, but I'll see if I can locate them shortly. There's another entrance. Now, like I said, they always used to have a girls and boys entrance. Now, it's possibly one of them. I don't know, there's no sign up there. Probably the other one's the other side of this building. But anyway, let's carry on to the next, the next one. OK, so this is the old Jewish church, which is still standing. Obviously abandoned, but it's still there. Even some of the windows are intact, which is amazing, really. It's great. Let's go and have a look at this stone down here. Yep, yeah, there it is. It was uh, to commemorate the jubilee year of the Grimsby Hebrew Synagogue. 1885 1935 September 8 1935 so it's still there and there's another plaque down there as well okay so we'll come down to Eleanor Street the old school you see you can see that's very derelict this opened in 1895 it was used a lot for a lot of things later on but yeah this is Eleanor Street school obviously there's a swimming pool in there that somebody told me somebody actually went inside and had a look let me nuts I wouldn't. I do like to, I'd make the channel better, wouldn't it? But yeah, that's that. I'm going to pop this over the top. I don't know what's down there because I can't see it. There you go. Okay, so we're coming up to the Grimsby Cord, Corded Company. I'm going to have a walk right up to it as well. Looks like you can, there's nothing that says you can't. So let's have a look. Look at this. Obviously, in another abandoned building. It's like it stretches. Looks like it stretches down there, as you can see the top of it there, look. It stretches quite big, it's a big building. It's meant to be one of the biggest ones in the country at the time. See the words at the top there? But yeah, that's well abandoned. Absolutely nothing here. It's the first time I've been able to get in anywhere like this. It's brill. So I'm going to go. Looks like people have been down here. Well, this, is, this was the entrance where the horses came through, which I've just read. It's obviously out from the street down to here obviously stretches down here as well so let's have a look a bit more look at this obviously I don't think I can get in it or anything it's all windows are blocked up but I'm gonna go as far as I can let's have a look I'm gonna keep the camera rolling I can always edit later oh, I thought that was an outlet then down there but yeah it stretches on a bit as far as I can get and there's a window up there so what I'm gonna do is is put the camera up there the camera's either can and I don't know what he's looking at at all I'm stretching as far as I can if there's something here I'll put it on but if not yeah so this is really good I'm going to bring it back down now as you can see up there as well windows at the top and it does stretch all the way down that way so that's brilliant let's go and uh, have another look somewhere else maybe okay so come to the end of the really video abandoned buildings I hope you enjoyed watching that I'd like to thank all my subscribers as always and all the people that watch my content. I added it up the other day and I've had a, a really good over a thousand views now. So thank you to everybody that really has watched my content and keep watching it. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time on the next video.